And welcome everyone to a preseason Missouri Valley Conference chat. I'm Andy Katz, pleased to be joined by Drake head coach Darren DeVries. And uh, Darren, you guys are picked to win the Valley, uh, a little bit of a new uh, configured Valley with Belmont and Murray State coming over to highly successful programs in the Ohio Valley. Loyola Chicago moves on to the A-10. So the Missouri Valley keeps getting better just with a couple of new members. Uh, what are your thoughts first off on being tabbed as the team to beat here in the preseason well i think it's um exciting for our program you know and, and says probably a little bit about you know what you have coming back um, and um you know what people think of, of that group of guys so but like we tell our guys all the time it's not one on paper but um uh, certainly uh excited to at least feel like we have a chance to to be in the race there um but when you think about the additions uh, that we've made to to the valley and things, um, it's a pretty exciting uh, time for for our league. Uh, I think with um, you know the kind of the background that uh, those those programs have, uh, it gives it should enhance our chances to hopefully um, you know get multiple bids, which is the goal of of uh, of our league. And and um, I think this will put us in a good position to do that. Yeah, and obviously staying also back in Chicago too. Um you know, with UIC. So, uh, you know, the league is still creating that same footprint and then adding it, you know, in Kentucky and the state of Tennessee. Um, it also keeps the league sort of tight geographically, logistically. How do you think that changes in terms of the travel and, and what your guys are going to be in for this season? Yeah, I think the travel, uh, you know, it adds probably a couple more charter flights, uh, you know, for us at least. So, uh, but again, I, I, I think uh, you said it, it keeps everything is fairly close, especially for a lot of the, uh, the Valley schools uh, there. It makes a lot of sense, the, the new addition. So uh, now you add it, it's a 20 game league schedule. So um, kind of, you know, what some of the other leagues are going to as well. So it, it should make for, you know, a long grueling <laughs> conference race, but uh, should, should be very exciting for all the fans. What's great too, though, Darren is, in an era where there's been so much movement in the transfer portal and you have sort of seen it on both sides uh, where you've lost a big name for your program, but you've added a significant one as well. How have you been able to manage your roster and stay near or at the top of the Valley? Well, I think the uh, continuity has been a huge piece. Uh, the fact that guys have stayed for us uh, or the bulk of the guys have stayed has really helped us, um, you know, and, and we're certainly, excited about that hopefully it says that our guys are having a great experience here and they want to continue to be here and um because we do have a great group of guys so that that part uh, you know the transport portal is has certainly opportunities for people to to you know put themselves in positions where they they feel they can be most happy and and thankfully for us a lot of our guys have felt like this is the best place for them uh there's a pretty big name on your roster it's got a familiar last name uh tucker uh DeVries. um he should have a monster season. What have you seen as a coach, as a dad, uh, to where he's, you know, sort of on the verge of really having that breakout year? Yeah, I think like a lot of freshmen, you go through your freshman year coming out of high school, you don't really know what to expect, what to work on, all that stuff. So uh, I think he's had an awesome summer. I think he's put in a ton of time, really changed his body and um, and understands the college game now a little bit better. So um, I think he's, um, you know, really changed uh, a lot of things from from last season to this season. I'm excited for him to see, you know, how the work he's put in pays off for him. All right. So for Drake to finish number one at the end of the season, not just here at the beginning, what has to go right specifically on the court? Well, I'd like to stay healthy uh, for, for a change. That would be helpful. Um, but I think at the end of the day for us, uh, uh, you know, guarding, you know, defending is, is going to be a huge key. If we can defend at a fairly high level, I, I feel pretty good about uh, where where we are as an offense and, and the pieces we have there. So I think just collectively being able to to get stops when we need them is going to, you know, like every league, you know, but I, I think that'll be a huge, um, you know, factor for us. All right, Darren. Well, uh, I know we're going to be talking throughout the course of the season. It's a long road ahead, but uh, hey, I still say it's better to pick one than last you know i know there's only one direction to go but at the same time it it basically says you guys are going to be pretty good this year we all expect that appreciate your time thanks andy really appreciate it